Hey YouTube. What's up YouTube? It's Cliff Mega. And Naija. This video is all about losing weight. Yeah, it's easy. Yes, losing weight is easy. As long as you're in the right mind state, I'm doing it. Do you think they can hear you from over, over there? Yeah, they can hear me good. <laughs> I can hear me. Of course you can hear you, but you're all the way over there, honey. Anyway, um, losing weight is easy. And you always side stepping and throwing it off. No, because you need to come over here. Come on to the what's Next to the speaker. Yeah, so losing weight is easy. And it's about, um, about knowing your body. A lot of people say that, you know, especially when you're doing a fast, that it might take you a month or two or three weeks. You don't really know until you know your body. You know? I did my fast, and it's the fourth, happy fourth. <laughs> you hear firecrackers out there. Yeah, that's another thing about the fourth. We wasn't free. <laughs> that's another video. <laughs> but anyway, mine only took three days because of, I guess, I didn't beat my system down too bad, so you have to find out how your body works and stuff. You, you go, love. What? Well, um, yeah, I lost a lot of weight. I mean, I have three children. Um, and I was getting pretty big. I'm 5'7". I was, I got up to about 170 pounds. Uh, it was after like three 175. children. Yeah, after three children. So now I'm like at 136. Wait. Let them know how long you was 175. How many years? I don't know how many years I was 135. Well, you was thick for like the majority of um, for when we had our, our I, children. I, the last. You was curvy, one. curvy thick though. Yeah. Well, when, London. Yeah. I mean. I, I didn't really get thick until, I mean, really, really thick until after I had London. Yeah, after we had our daughter, she really put on the weight. Yeah, and I and I had her C-section, and I think that um, that stress on the body, too, because stress on the body does store fat as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another video. But anyway, um, I, I was noticing too that my stomach was like the biggest thing that I really wanted to get rid of. Like I liked the fact that my butt was thick, thighs were thick, you know, everything else to me was okay. But my stomach was huge. It was like, you know, I'm I'm five seven and that part of my body was sticking out like I was still pregnant. Yeah. And that was like the hardest thing to get rid of to me was my stomach and it was like oh, how can I get rid of my stomach? Remember a lady told you that you can't get rid of your stomach? Yeah, she said you can't get rid of your stomach. It's always going to be there. Yeah. And I'm just like, I didn't want to believe that. Like, no. what do you mean it's always going to be there? My sister told you that. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> what did it for me was the fact that I let, when we learned about corn. Yeah. Um, I was watching Dr. Oz, was it? And he showed the cornstarch um, mixed in water, and he had the people touch it. And he said, see the thickness and the consistency of it? That's what it looks like in your your stomach and stuff. And I was just like, that's disgusting. Yeah. You know, and then I was like, well, what stuff is it? What, what cornstarch? What is that? What is it in? So we just started looking, right? And it's almost in 90% of the food you're eating. Oh my gosh, we couldn't believe when we was looking at the ingredients. Cornstarch, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, um, corn oil, corn, blah, 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 corn GMO. Yep, corn meal, cornstarch. Corn, everything, it's we, like in everything. It's really a, a problem. Like we, we did other videos talking about corn, but it's really, like I said, like um, when you having this weight on you and you having problems and you know, you're trying to you're running to get a um, surgery, you know, to get it removed and all that when you could just do it the natural way. Right. And you noticing that it's hard to do it the natural way because it seems more easier and quicker to just spend the money or your insurance might cover it. And you go and you get it done, but it's still in your mindset. You're going to go back and eat the corn again. And mm -hmm. that's just one stuff that we know about corn that yeah. that's putting on the weight. It's probably it's a whole bunch of other things that it's doing. Yeah. 
So I, I would say the thing that affected me the most was when I just stopped eating anything corn. And that's for my body type. That's for me and that's what worked yeah. for me. And when I noticed that I just stayed away from a lot of corn things and I was not exercising a lot at yeah. all. <laughs> like I wasn't doing no 50 push-ups or <laughs> sit-ups for my abs or anything. Running. Running, no, none of that. Your body just took care of the rest. It just, the pounds just dropped off and I was just like amazed. <laughs> like with little to no effort, we're just eliminating one thing <laughs> that the body is just, it goes back to its natural state. Wow. So you really have to find out what works for you. Like I was telling a, a good friend of mine, you know, she had three children too. And um, she was concerned about her weight as well. And I told her, you know, just to eliminate corn and see what that does. Because you have to really find out what your body likes and dislikes and what's good for your body and what's not good for your body. You got all these diets, you got all these fasts, right, honey? Yeah. And do they work? Do you think they work or do you think that's Fasting something? works, yeah. Fasting to clean you out, but you can't fast and then go back to your regular routine. You have to really change. You have to change your whole pattern of eating. Meaning, like, if you do wanted to eat something that was bad, you have to maybe do it once for the week, maybe once for the month or something like that. You have to change your whole routine. It's the same as what they be talking about um, you, when you, you have to think you're rich to be rich. So you have to think that you're slim. It means you're going to have to eat what a slim person eat. The same way like right now. You can't eat as much food as you used to. Yeah. Your stomach got smaller. Right. So when you eat a lot of food, your body's going to always need to maintain of eating that big portion of food. Right. Once you fast and your stomach start getting small and it's cleaning out everything, you ain't gonna be able to eat big like that no more. Yeah. So yeah. It's a it's a it's a mind thing. <laughs> it is definitely a mind thing. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I you know I'll show some pictures of um, before and after if I can find some because <laughs> I have after a lot of after, but yes. I, I I'm gonna find the before so you can really see because it's not hard. You don't have to get surgery. You don't have to exercise a lot, even though it's good to exercise. But it's 90, I would say it's 95% diet. Yeah. And increase your vitamin C intake. And I would say always, if you increase it, you should eat something that's high in vitamin C. Not, I don't believe, you know, in, with us, we don't believe in pills, whatever. But I found that vitamin C, high vitamin C in your body. That's why some females could have children and their stomach or younger females and their stomach could go right back flat, whatever, because their immune system is high. So... I would say eat stuff that's high in vitamin C. Look up food that's high in vitamin C. <laughs> yeah. So I hope that helps somebody out there. You know, if you're getting fit and you're discouraged about, like, losing weight, believe me, if I can do it, you can do it too. Just the, your body gives you signs of what it, it yeah. can take, right? Yeah. And what it can't take. Yeah. And if you need help, my husband and I are here to help you out. We're um, about 90% vegan. That's the other thing too. Um, Seeing vegans, but they still have weight. I don't see how you can have weight on you and you're a vegan because... Well, vegetarian. Vegetarian, like... We're vegetarian. We eat like 80, 90 percent and we're slim. Like, it shows in what we eat whatsoever. Right. So, I don't know what this other stuff that people be eating. It gotta be. I don't know. But all I know is I um, pay attention to my body, what my body is telling me. Like, if it aches... If my stomach is feeling full yep. or bulged out or cellulited or all of that stuff is signs. And you just have to know your body because your body's going to tell you what it needs and what it don't needs. All right. So do subscribe. Do share this video. Um, we'll leave an email down in the description box to anybody that really need help with just losing weight. Because I'm telling you, like, it's not that hard. It's easy. Both of us did it. <laughs> yeah. It's really not that hard. Okay. I love you guys. All right, y'all.
Everyone has challenges in their life every day. Some of them are small, but some of them are big, massive issues that can make or break you. But when you're a child, if you're lucky, you got your parents there to help and support you. But when you become an adult, you have to learn to cope with these things on your own. But we can always support each other, no matter what you're doing right now.